After holding its opponent to just eight third quarter points, two seed Jenny's basketball won its NCAA Central Region quarterfinal game over seven seed Minnesota State Moorhead 66 to 49. While the offense was definitely clicking, it was the defense that allowed UCM to get out to a big lead. I thought defensively we were just tremendous pretty much all night long and uh, we were able to, to, to stop their high-low action. Uh, and even though we've got a few undersized kids like uh, Meg Garden, 6'1s and 6'2s, uh, thought that the, our, our smalls did a great job of ball pressure on the wing so they couldn't see very well. And then uh, Meg and Kay just did a tremendous job of, uh, of guarding their high-low action. So I thought that was a big key of the game. Then uh, offensively we got going. And uh, this is, uh, you know, we haven't played in a week and uh, Moorhead hasn't played in two weeks. so. It, I thought it was going to be a little bit uh, worse for us offensively. And I thought we were tremendous those first two quarters offensively. Obviously, putting up a 26 spot in the first quarter uh, really got things going. The Jennies added 18 points in the second quarter after opening the game with 26 in the first. But going back to the stellar defense, UCM held Moorhead to 37% shooting from the floor and 20% from three. Turnovers were big. The Jenny defense forced 17 of them and grabbed nine steals, then went to the other end and scored 18 points off turnovers. Well, we just wanted to make sure that those high posts wouldn't catch the ball 15, 18 feet. We wanted them to catch the ball five or six feet beyond the three. And for the most part, I thought we were just outstanding doing it. I mean, we really were. Those are pretty darn good players. And uh, Kay is the defensive player of the year, and there's a reason for it. But uh, Meg has gotten so much better as the years progressed. Big first half for Megan Skagg. She scored 13 points and hit three three-pointers in just the first quarter. Yeah, I just feel like they were all in rhythm. Definitely in the first half, you know, I received great passes from my teammates. But like Coach said, the difference in this game was definitely our defense. Skaggs finished with 17 points and six rebounds. Paige Redmond led all scores with 19 points and five assists. She was feeling the rhythm too. Like she said, getting the rhythm threes is kind of what makes the shot go in so when you're like just standing there forcing it or coming off the ball screen is kind of hard but the passing that we had in the game and just finding our open shots made it so much easier. Kayana Lee rounds out the Jennies in double figures with 11 points and six rebounds. She shot four for nine.